Hey guys and welcome, I am Jenya. In today's cleaning, organizing and decluttering video, I will be decluttering my two-year-old son's closet. I'm sure he's got some more clothes to donate to my twin boys who are about to be born and I'm still running around like a chicken with no head trying to finish all of the projects that I put on my to-do list. So we're going to organize his closet, tidy up his room a little bit, make sure that we understand what's going on in his dresser, then we'll switch to the kitchen and clean up that space as well. I am simultaneously also working on washing and drying and organizing all of the clothes that got donated for the twins as well as cleaning up other areas in the house but I could only fit so much into this video. I'll leave the rest for the next video but let me just show you Max's closet. He's two years old so this is his room and this is his closet and I've also been throwing some stuff in here, some clothes that he grew out of in hopes to go through them one day so today's the day as you can see all of that is his clothes that he doesn't fit into anymore. So I'll start here today by taking everything out and going through the stuff, donating, decluttering, putting it back in an organized order. I am by the way Jenya and I am a mom of two toddlers. My daughter is four, my son is two. I'm currently pregnant with two boy twins. I am over 36 weeks now so it is completely normal for them to show up at any time and we also have my c-section scheduled two weeks from now. On this channel you will find plenty of organizing, decluttering and cleaning. From time to time you'll see a DIY project on a budget and sometimes I'll throw in a recipe if that's something I really really like. Anyways, I'll be chatting with you throughout the video as I'm going through my projects and I hope you'll get yours done as well. All the clothes I gotta go through, I'm taking out of his closet and moving it into our master bedroom since he is about to take a nap. Okay, so we just took a bunch of clothes out of here, most of the clothes out of here. And now I'm just gonna let Maxi take a nap in this room. So we're gonna go through that clothes in a different room. And then we'll come back here and continue with this shelf, upper shelf, which is mostly what's left. After doing this project, I was also going to change our sheets and change our blanket, wash everything, so that's why I don't mind putting the boxes and everything on this blanket right now. But yeah, the cleaning of the master bedroom didn't really fit into this video, I'll just fit it into the next one. But yes, I'm just not expecting to have a lot of time with twin boys on my hands, so of course I'm trying to get things done, however, also, I am feeling that weight on me now and I'm not a robot, I need so much rest now, so I find myself taking a break every 15 minutes minutes or so just sitting down putting my feet up sometimes I even feel like taking a nap during the day I'm just not all that energized anymore even though this pregnancy has been surprisingly the easiest out of all three pregnancies I've ever been through I think I've just learned a few things and now I know how to stay healthy eat plenty of iron and try to be wiser with that little energy that you have during pregnancy this pregnancy is the first time when I'm actually not wishing this time away during the last few weeks normally it's the hardest part of the pregnancy is the last month and you just want to get it over with and meet your baby for the first time in my life I'm actually doing okay right now and I'm not in a rush and no matter how low I'm feeling sometimes I still find myself enjoying this last few days of my pregnancy I wish I would have figured out how to do that in my other two pregnancies because I was really miserable at the end but anyways as I went through all of Max's clothes I'm going to put this basket back into his room he 
is still gonna wear it and that bunch of clothes needs to be washed organized and donated to my twin babies i haven't decluttered the whole bunch because i have no idea how much clothes i'm gonna need for the twins so so far i'm only donating these three pieces of clothes but there's so much more donation to couple including my husband who has been decluttering his clothes as well i feel like there's so much coming into our house right now that i need to let a bunch go as well As I was getting my clean laundry, I just wanted to show you what's going on in our laundry area. This is all the new clothes mixed with our regular clothes that I have been washing and need to go through and need to organize, find space for. And there is even more downstairs that got donated to us. This is such a big project and I'm just hoping for the babies to give me a little bit more time to at least get through with this one. We're back in Max's room after his nap. We still got that upper shelf to go through. Okay, I found something I forgot about and I love, love, love doing that. So what I do is uh, whenever there is Christmas or a birthday and my kids get like 20 presents all at once, of course, they're never gonna remember who the present was from. And so I let them open up all of the presents, but then later on, either the same day or the next day, I would pick up some of those presents and put them away up on the shelf somewhere so that I can give it to them later and that way it will be more special. That way I can tell them who the present was from, they can appreciate it more. And I normally do that when I need some time to myself or they're going through a hard time. Whenever I find that there is a moment that I wish I could use a new toy, I always got one hidden somewhere. And you may disagree with that way of thinking, but I just love doing that, I found that it works and also it's totally fine to parent differently, right? I found this humidifier in Max's room, so I'm gonna put it into the twins' room onto the shelf. I have a feeling I'm going to need it at some point. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I love just went cold, but I'm still burning. I love just went cold. Some of these clothes are way too cute, but they're way too big. Max is two and these clothes are 40. So I made a specific shelf for those kind of clothes in the closet. We'll get to that later. Also the shoes that came from my daughter, the dark blue ones, she doesn't fit into anymore, but it's perfect for him right now. But the light blue ones, they also got some pink on them. So I don't think I'm gonna have Maxi wear those. The point I'm trying to make is that at some point while my daughter was growing up, I started learning that the shoes can also be gender neutral and that's what I started buying for her at some point and now I'm really grateful I, I did that especially when it's expensive shoes you keep coming back to show me sorry you have changed now but it's the same old story I love just went cold but I'm still burning I love just went cold We're lucky enough to have a grandmother that has a little bit of a shopping problem so we get a lot of clothes for our kids from the family because they just love shopping for it. So these pajamas are very cute, they're also in 4T so I'm gonna put them away. And then I got these socks from Amazon for $12 I think. I really like these although I have been trying to buy all of the socks in one color for Anya and Max which was gray color. So not only do you not have to worry about matching them because they're all the same color but they're also good for both kids if you have a boy and a girl but these were just too cute for all four seasons from amazon for like 12 bucks they're not slip and i'll leave a link in the description just in case you are back once more like everything's the same i tried to build my walls up but you're 
When I was planning to organize Max's closet, I had noticed that we were short on hangers and everything on Amazon seemed to be overpriced for hangers to me and even Walmart seemed to be overcharging for those little plastic toddler hangers. I wasn't expecting it to be such a problem, I just wanted a bunch of little hangers for all of my kids, but I wasn't prepared to pay like $30 for it. But what do you know, I stopped by at Dollar Tree for something else and there they have it. I think they had like a pack of 6 or a pack of 8 for $1.25, thick white hangers, the one that you see hanging in the closet. So that's where I stocked up on those white hangers for toddlers and I was really very happy. This is a different day, I'm just showing you what the room is looking like. I'm still working on putting the stuff back into the closet and then I'm going to clean up the room a little bit. I have a little bit of clean laundry to put into his dresser and then after all of that is done, I'll show you what the closet is looking like and we'll, we'll move into the kitchen. We have his diapers that he is not ready for for another year or so. These are diapers that he's training, potty training right now. So these are, what are they, pull-ups, whatever. Um, and these are night diapers, which we use now. Pillow, the blanket, not until we buy him a bigger bed. And um, those are wipes. And then if we get more diapers, we'll just tack them on top because, yeah, and all of his clothes, these are out of season shirts, out of season um, pants and um, way too big. I decided to put the shoes in here as well. 
I'm not sure about these. <laughs> if they're like blue enough for a boy, but um, I don't know. Are they for a girl? What would you, what do you think? <laughs> they obviously came from Anya. Um, I, I haven't made up my mind about that. But anyways, I'm going to be putting all of the shoes that Anya used to wear like that in here that he has not grown into because the drawer is for too big. There's way more space out here. I like keeping it empty and minimal, but there's a little bit more stuff to come. I don't wanna say it's gonna get stuffed. I don't think so. Yes, but I would like to always leave a little bit of miscellaneous empty space whenever I do organization of anything. I was thinking of putting the stuff like diapers and the wipes up on top on that shelf, but then I know when we shop for them, we'll just throw the boxes into this closet and leave it at that. I'm just lazy like that, so I'm trying to consider my habits when I organize something and also consider how much time I will be having. Will I have the time to take all of the diapers out and stock them up nicely on the shelf or will we most likely just throw the boxes into the closet and leave them as is i think that's the one what we'll do so to me right now what's important is not so much how beautiful my organization is looking but how functional it is for my habits and how likely it is that i'm gonna keep it that way i love organizing shirts in konmari style you know rolling them and putting them all one behind the other so that they're all visible to you but right now what i find much less time consuming is just to throw those clothes into the drawers i already know that those are shirts and those are pants so that's good enough for me i do like rolling them up like konmari but i figured i better start figuring out how to run things around the house when i don't have the time As always, asking Anya to help me around picking things up from the floor because it is hard for me to bend over. The world was upside down and you were... Everybody always gets confused where the dirty laundry goes, whether it goes into the laundry room or everybody has a little organizer for their dirty clothes or just what to do with it. So for my two-year-old, I finally decided to just put a little label on that basket that I considered always for dirty laundry, but I was wondering how come nobody else knows that? <laughs> That's because I didn't label it before. Anyways, the room is done and I wanted to show you the closet, but I did decide to take everything out of the boxes and just rearrange a little bit. We will see if I will or will not have time to take the diapers and the wipes out of the boxes each time. I think it still looks better without the boxes, of course. On the left hand side I have all of the diapers that he's using at the moment and up on that shelf I put the diapers that he is still yet to grow into. So now that that room is set up let's move on to the kitchen. I have a few things to pick up, clean up in here and just put together. As always we're gonna take care of the dishwasher, wash the sink, clear up the countertops. I need to cut up that celery because I've been drying it after washing it so that I can cut it up and freeze it for my soup so whatever. So let's tidy up this space as well. I'm 
I'm gonna freeze some celery like I said so that it would be ready for me to cook at any time although I think it's genius to just kind of cook a bunch of food and then divide it into portions and freeze it all up I myself prefer so far just freezing the ingredients for now and then taking them out and cooking something fresh right then and there I don't know what it is but we never seem to eat something that's already cooked and has been frozen so so far at least for now just cutting up and freezing the actual ingredients so that I can cook with them later has been working for us much better let me know in the comments if you do meal preps and freeze them ahead of time and how long it actually took you to figure that one out because I know it sounds easy just do the meal prep you know but I found it that it took me weeks just to figure out what works for us what doesn't right now I'm working on meal planning and it's much more complicated than it sounds maybe it's because we all like different foods in our family me coming from Russia living in England for a while and adjusting to those foods and actually getting used to those foods then moving to America I find that food here is slightly different than in England as well so there's a lot of adjustment for me but I am not very picky then there is my American husband he is very typical he's just a very classic American when it comes to food and then my two toddlers are very picky toddlers who are very picky in their own way so a lot of times I make three different meals at dinner I'm sure some moms will understand and then of course on top of that I am trying to make everybody eat more vegetables than anything in their diet ever so that that has been quite a challenge and therefore when it comes to meal planning I just find it a little bit slightly more complicated than it sounds it doesn't make it easy the other piece of my heart moves slow somewhere in the great unknown when I return from the afterglow will you carry me like I am Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung best belief, the other ring of my wrist is gold, pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my skin and bone, I'm remembering the words you told. I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for your comments in my last video regarding Boris our puppy the, if you missed that video from last week that is where I explain why we no longer have him but in this video I would like to thank all of you who commented in my last video making me feel so much better obviously the dog is much happier now I don't really have any updates from the uncle but next time he'll send us a picture or a video I'll definitely show you it still is the same though Boris is very happy we talk to them we change in the vets and all of that so we are keeping in touch and Boris is just so happy to go to work with the uncle every day the co-workers bring him treats and toys he's very active just exactly what that kind of dog needs he gets exhausted by the end of each each day and that makes me just so very happy I have not cried anymore I'm a hundred percent sure over and over again that it was the right decision if I had to do it over and rethink everything I would do the same thing it's perfect not only for the puppy 
family but for his new owner as well as far as i hear because he is related to us very closely he just talks about the new puppy all the time and to everybody it's just the best feeling of relief that everything turned out very well so thank you all for all the supporting comments it really helped me at that time last week when i was still going through the phase of i don't know how it's going to turn out you know Tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no I'm not a yo-yo on a string That you flip and twist and swing I'm not gonna lie tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready not gonna lie tonight you don't get everything you like cause i'm not ready if i'm not ready second guessing your words cause you choke right when i see that you're all i really need but if i'm honest i know this whole thing has been a sign that i'm running out of time i'm not gonna laugh tonight you don't get everything you like cause i'm not ready if i'm not ready i'm not gonna laugh tonight you don't get everything you like cause i'm not ready if i'm not ready I got this beverage dispenser, the plastic one on the table from Timu. The purpose is to take any unnecessary tasks off my hands if I can, such as serving drinks to my kids all day long. I thought it would be a good idea to teach Anya how to refill her and her brother's drinks. I was really hoping for this idea to work and here I am explaining to her for the first time how to go about this dispenser. I was very pleased that she could handle it and only after about one spill on the floor she was perfect ready to serve the drinks for herself and her brother the next morning at breakfast she didn't even ask me for the drinks anymore she just went and kept refilling it for both of them so that's one more task off my hands Anya had to wipe something so she had a towel in her hands and she stuck it under her shirt pretending to be pregnant. <laughs> so she kept saying that her baby is in her tummy as well. <laughs> so I thought it was pretty hilarious. I swear I do try to wipe this trash can top, if not every day, then every other day. I'm only doing it in the sink right now because the batteries that are supposed to be inside, we don't use them, we're not planning on using them, so I don't care if it gets wet. But if you have the same trash can, I wouldn't recommend to wash it in your sink if you're planning to use that function where it opens the lid automatically. I am just unpacking this diaper bag and I'm trying to get all of the clutter out of the way from this table. This is our clutter area. My kids just went to their church for the last day the other day. It was a parent morning out that I used to take them to once a week. So they had their last day there since we're having the babies. And then after that, Anya is going to start her pre-K. 
and it's going to be at a school that's closer to our house finally because that church that they went to was really far away it was closer to our old house that we used to live in before but anyways i couldn't find anything for max to attend all the spots were already taken or too expensive and so max and the two twin boys are going to be staying at home with me and anya will be going to pre-k three days a week and as soon as i have my babies i was planning to take maybe a couple of weeks off of youtube i'm not sure how it's gonna happen but that's everything I know and the kitchen is done for now so I hope you enjoyed today's video I'll see you next week hopefully and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend I'll see you soon guys bye bye now